Hey, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years. Today I want to talk to you about linear functions. Now, a function is really just an equation that describes a specific relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. This is an example of what a linear function looks like. f of x, that's read f of x, equals ax plus b. Now, if you're familiar with the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, you might recognize this as looking very similar to y equals mx plus b. And it is very similar. The equation of a line in slope-intercept form is an example of a linear function. It describes a specific relationship between x, the independent variable, and y, the dependent variable. Now, function notation using the f of x instead of the y is just a way to make it clearer that this equation really depends on the value of x. So it's really just the same thing, so don't let it fool you. Now, function notation can be a little weird to get used to, but it's actually pretty simple. Suppose I tell you that I have the function f of x, and that's equal to 7x minus 2. And then suppose I tell you that x is equal to 8. So the question is, what is f of x? All you have to do is plug the value of x into the function and then calculate. Here's how it works. Instead of writing f of x, I want to know what f is at a specific value, in this case when x is 8. So I write f of 8 equals, now anywhere I see an x, I put the 8 in instead. So instead of 7 times x, I have 7 times 8 minus 2. Then I just evaluate. So I have that f of 8 equals, 7 times 8 is 56, and 56 minus 2 is 54. So f of 8 equals 54. The value of this function when x equals 8 is equal to 54. Now, if you're familiar with the equations of lines, don't get confused by the function notation. You just replace y with f of x. And then, any time you need to evaluate, you just take your value of x and put it in the equation anywhere you see an x, and then you just calculate the answer. Functions aren't always linear. There's quadratic functions and cubic functions and exponential functions. It all depends on how the variable is used. But linear functions are the simplest, so use them to get used to the notation. And we'll talk about more complicated functions in a future lesson. And that's linear functions. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.